Yay! Come on into the Nancy Book Club. We have so much fun here. And if this is your first time tuning in, we welcome you and hope that you will be a regular member of our book club. Maybe you're watching us on TV, or maybe you're watching us through the Davis County Public Schools YouTube link. Either way, we're glad you're here, and we hope you enjoy our show today. I went to the library. I know I always talk about the library, but it's one of my favorite places to go because of all the books that are there. And no matter how many times I go, I always find new things to learn at the library. Well, this time when I visited, they had a display, and a display is a fancy word for fixing shelves or a table of things that they want you to notice. And on this display, it said, new books for children. Boom, I went right there because I wanted to see what's new so I could then share it with all of you. The first book I found is very interesting and it has a funny title called My Weird School. I found out that this is a series called My Weird School and this particular book is called Teamwork Trouble. It's about some kids that you see on the front and they are doing a sport that has become very famous recently. The Olympics has made this a fun, favorite sport with a funny name. It's called curling. Now, when I hear curling, I think about my curly hair, but that's not the kind of curling that is a sport. It looks like the kids have brooms, and there's a target, and there's something here that it looks like the illustrator made it look like it was moving. Well, the author of this book is Dan Gutman, and the pictures are by Joe Pullett. Let's look in and see what's going on in Teamwork Trouble. Well, we have a friend named Ryan, and Ryan needs one more player on his curling team. He has two friends he's going to talk to that about, AJ and Andrea. Now, AJ says, that's not a real sport. You know we love sports like football and baseball and basketball, but that's not a real sport curling. And Andrea said, oh yes it is. I take lessons in curling. And so Ryan asks her to be on his team. And AJ is okay with that. But as time goes on, AJ gets a little bit jealous that he's not included on the team. Now the reason they can't bring him in on the team is something I didn't know. A curling team has four, four people participating. So the children start practicing and they get really good. And here we see another picture of the curling. This is Emily, she's on the team also. And here's Andrea and our other friends and they are trying to make this object, and I don't know what it's called, I'm sorry, I should have studied better. But they try to make it go on the target and get as close to the middle as possible. And they have several tries to do this. The team is doing a very good job, except for one boy, Michael. Michael will never tie the strings on his skates or his shoes, and wouldn't you know it, just like our parents tell us, tie your shoes so you don't trip. He does, and he hurts his nose, and he's not able to do the last part of the curling match. What's going to happen now? The team that has been doing so well, our team from the weird school, 
will they have to just stop and not participate? In sports language, that fancy word is forfeit, meaning you just lose because you don't have the right number of people on your team or you didn't follow a rule and you just automatically lose. Well, I hope that doesn't happen to our friends who have practiced so very hard. But if you're interested in sports and learning about some new sports like curling and you want to find out about the weird school, check out this book or one of the other books in the Weird School series. It's an I Can Read book on the two level, just right for some of you. Another new book they had at the library I was drawn to because I'm very fascinated by bees honeybees and bees and how they communicate to each other, how they make honey, and I'm just very interested in how they cooperate with each other and work together. Maybe you've heard the term busy as a bee. Well, that means if you're busy as a bee, you're very busy because people think that bees are always working. Well, in this fiction book about some bees, it is called Busy Ms. Lizzie. Notice she has lots of Z's in her name. And I guess bees like to say the Z words because they buzz. Would you look at who the author is? David Shannon. We know who he is. He has written books about No No David and they're so funny and other books about there was something about stripes that he wrote and his books are always very fun to read. Let's look inside and see why they call this bee Busy Ms. Lizzie. Well, Ms. Lizzie is busy even by bee standards. She goes to school and where, that's where she makes straight bees. And at bee school, bees are the best grade you can get. But not only does she work hard in school, she takes art lessons, she takes dance lessons, acting lessons, and music lessons. She is the busiest bee around. She even plays bee league baseball, and she's in the Junior Honey Scouts. Whew, she's a busy, busy bee for sure. Maybe you're wondering, why would she want to be so very busy? Well, it's because Little Miss Lizzie admires the queen bee and she hopes someday to meet the queen bee who is the leader of all the bees. And when Miss Lizzie meets her, she wants to be able to say that I am being the very best busy bee I can be. And that's why she works so hard without resting. In fact, the only bee that is busier than little Miss Lizzie, busy bee, is probably her mom who takes her to all those lessons. Well, it's no wonder, knowing our little Lizzie, that when she hears about a spelling competition called a spelling bee, she wants to be in it. And she studies and she studies because in a spelling bee, you're trying to see who is the very best speller, who can stand with all the other spellers and stay up the longest. Because if you miss a word and you spell it incorrectly, you must sit down. So the last person standing that spells the word correctly is the winner of the spelling bee. Well, the bee is very exciting because look who is visiting. It's the 
queen bee herself. And here we see busy Miss Lizzie. She's one of three left in the competition. She has studied so hard, she has hardly slept a wink. And now it's her turn. One friend has missed a word and will have to sit down. And little Miss Lizzie, who is so busy, has the word quizzical with some Z's in it. She knows quizzical. She has studied that word. And she shuts her eyes for just a minute to picture the word. And when she does, falls fast asleep. She doesn't get to spell her word. She doesn't get to keep on in the competition. In fact, she doesn't wake up until three days later in her own bed. Oh, how disappointing. This must be to a bee who wants to be practically perfect. What's going to happen to busy Miss Lizzie? Will she just stop everything and not work at all? Will she be so discouraged because she didn't get to meet the queen bee? Oh, it's so interesting what happens, but I cannot share it with you because I want you to read this David Shannon book at your house or at your school on your own or with some of your friends. So that's why I'm going to keep it a secret. But please, please check out this book about Busy Miss Lizzie. And also remember, that bees are very important to our world. Without bees going from plant to plant, new plants would not be able to grow. And without plants in our world, we as people and as animals, other our pets and things, nobody could live without bees. So be very kind to the bees and enjoy reading about them. Now we're going to take a little break and we're going to hear from our friends at Tell Me a Story. They have a good one for you today. So watch that and come right back to the book club. See you soon. 